three, two, magic. Hello. Hello out there. What? Oh. Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Don't, don't go anywhere. See ya. <laughs> Starting it out right. <laughs> is, is Chad taking his shirt off right now? What's yeah. happening? I think he's, this is the I part where we get kicked off Chad. of Twitch. Magic Mike time. Oh. Oh. oh, wizards, witches, <laughs> warlocks, shamans, hoodoos. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday night in our new game, Kids on Brooms. I am Mega Supreme. Have a cadabra. Very nice. Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yes, it's me. <laughs> it's me and my new guys, Mega Supreme. Um, I've got a cool witch hat with like a I've got I, I stole the eye of Agamamo from Doctor Strange. He didn't need it anymore. I got a wand. I'm a I'm a wizard. Um, anyway, hello, welcome to our new stream. Happy Thursday. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um yeah, let's let's meet uh, let's meet our friends. Hello, hello, friends. Hello, hey. uh, classmates. <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk's gonna be the, he's gonna be that kid in class. No, no, it's actually not. We all we all we're all old enough to have had that kid in class. It was an era. It's still in there. I'm bringing it back. Um, please um, <laughs> call back. Let us let us meet. Uh, let us meet our players. Uh, we'll start with uh, Ashley. Oh, please hello. Introduce, introduce your normal self. Uh, I'm Ashley. Um, I am Minnesota Muse uh, 99 on Twitter, uh, which I just recently joined. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I mean, if you want updates on the group, well, I'll be posting some stuff. Um, and, uh, I play on our Wednesday night, Salt Marsh, um, as Feyre, even star. And I'm super excited for this, uh, brand new Kids on Brooms campaign. I can't wait to see what magical hijinks we get up to. Oh, yeah. Dave. Why don't you We're getting up to some show? substantial hijinks. I can guarantee that. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Dave. I can also be found on this darn channel on Wednesday nights playing Beyond Salt Marsh. Uh, and excited to be here. A brand new game world, a new system. I'm super excited to, to play with some new rules. And this is going to be something very different from what we've done before. So super duper excited about that. And I'm excited, Chad, that you're running a new game for us. So thank you. Yay. Andy, hello. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Andy. Um, you can find me on sometimes on Twitter at AndyG underscore 3D and AndyG3D here on Twitch. Um, I also play in our Wednesday night game. And yeah, <laughs> excited to hop on a broom. and We play a lot of games. Get some magic on. And last, but certainly not least, and first, newest to Thursday nights, it's Kirk. What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Kirk. Um, I, I'm, I'm here on Wednesdays, too. Um, you can't find me anywhere on the internet. I'm a ghost. Uh, you, you can't find my character on Wednesday. He's a ghost. Well, he's not a ghost. He's very sneaky. Um, I already have a name for my character, but you're going to have to wait to find out what that is. Fantastic. Very cool. Um, yeah. Let's just get right into it. Let's get Chad, right into it. Chad, I sent it. you a Discord message. Oh, no. FYI. Man. Just quick look at the Discord. Me personally? Mm hmm. No, in the uh, in the Discord channel for KOB. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
That's how the cool kids say it. Kob. Right. Kob. Kids Incorporated. That was a show, right? Is is my audio better? It does sound familiar. Are you just saying that to humor me? Because I'm old. No, it does. Okay. Like '90s (laughs) cartoons, man. Yeah. Saturday morning. Is this good, Dave? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. This answers. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, today we are uh, all up in a session zero. Um, some things, uh, if you know about session zeros, right? Some things we're, we're not really going to do because we've all been playing together for some time. So uh, we're really not going to necessarily talk about like some of our lines and veils because we've mm-hmm. kind of established those sorts of things already. So that's good. Um, but what we will do is build some context. So first off, let's, 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 let's talk a little bit about this, right? So we are playing Kids on Brooms, which is uh, the second or the, the first, I think, first, maybe? Uh, it's like an ex- expansion, a, a side-by-side uh, of Kids on Bikes, which is... Uh, essentially how to play stranger things i'd i'd be interested to see if people are playing games that are not stranger things with kids on bikes but it's essentially like that kind of that kind of trope like goonies you know your your kids adults are useless generally not very helpful um and there's there's um hijinks drama horror whatever um may or may not be um powered you know like psychic people or whatever uh, or in this case kids on brooms so we're magical school you know kind of like hogwarts or the magicians or um you know whatever other match scholomance whatever other magical schools are out there um it's by hunters entertainment um the book is super tiny right but very compact very well written renegade studios as well very affordable Hopefully, we'll have a lot of fun with it. I don't see why we wouldn't have a lot of fun with it. But um, so part of the game itself, and ultimately what part of what we're doing is kind of creating our our our, our context or our we're going to do some world building, um, as well as building out characters. Um, all of you, uh, I hope you have noticed that there is a bit of a session zero questionnaire on our discord on our personal discord channel um that has um some questions some of which you've seen before some of which you have not seen before um but let us start with um a a sort of our um like the six six truths like this is like high level kind of meta type stuff um I've already filled out the first one, which is magic is hidden from the mundane, right? Like Harry Potter, like normal people don't really see magic, you know, or like, uh, what's that? Lock and key on Netflix with the little keys and stuff. People, adults just forget about magic. Um, because ultimately that like that, I think that makes for a more interesting story when there's like this, bifurcation of 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 world context um and we don't have to do necessarily all of these right now but um like what sort of do any of you have any ideas for like kind of foundational things you know like oh magic require this is not this is a bad example but you know like oh magic requires Blood sacrifice. You know, the blood of kings to be really useful. <laughs> well, that's right? not this kind of game. Come on, right, Timmy. No, yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, go get right. some blood of kings. <laughs> right. Maybe if we were playing the magicians, like that's what that would be. Yeah, um, yeah. We'll do that after they graduate from from this <laughs> kids on broom school. We'll right? have a, an adult one shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> freshman in but college an, one shot. It'll be an it'll be an OSR game. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, um so six truths these are things that will sort of 
will, will these have mechanical impacts or is it more like flavor, Chad? How do you I think really that? more flavor like, mm -hmm. right? Like it could be something like, you know, like if you think of like in the magicians to bring up the magicians, like if you think of the magicians, like a truth, like a, like a truth uh, of the magicians is that, um, you know, or, or, or whatever is that there's these all kind of alternate worlds, you know, like fuck not Narnia, whatever it's called, um, you know, like or magic comes it, it, or like magic comes from the gods in that ca in that mm -hmm. game or you in that or or it could be that there is a switch that can turn magic off mm. um can i propose one yeah absolutely i was what about um the true origin of magic is unknown mm. like what okay. not not how to practice it but where it actually came from like how it birthed into the world or was it always there but the true origins are unknown okay i don't know so maybe so maybe there's something like you know like maybe like in the real world like in the regular in our physical real world like everyone they're like oh these people do magic these people do magic magic comes from the devil right magic comes from wherever other people you know alistair crowley and there's like all of these different traditions and some of them will be like, no, we're the true origin of magic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, ultimately at, at the meta level, nobody really knows. Yep. Mm, I like that. I like that. Anyway, what, anyway, about, uh, what about, what uh, about like the mundane have magic and just aren't able to tap into it? Wouldn't that make them not mundane then? Right, but they don't have a way of tapping into it, so they are. Like they haven't. Are been you saying that cause... any anybody, anybody could be can... magical if if they were allowed to unlock it? Yeah, something like that. Or if they knew how, if they were taught, maybe. I, I'm just brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I'm not going to write that one down. Kirk, will you, will you notch your volume down just a little bit? I apologize. It's the volume jockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is a little. Did, I, did I go the right direction? Test one, two. I'm going to just go move it a little more. more. Am I going? Am I getting quieter? Yeah, a little bit more. And what about it. what about like right there? Ooh, now, yeah. maybe little, more? Slightly a more. more. A little more, a little more. Rolling the dial. Other way. Oh, am I going the wrong direction? Yeah. yeah. Kirk, you're Come fired. On. Yeah, Come on. He's, you're out. Kirk, who's oh, he? man. This, what, this is amateur hour. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the first time we've ever done this. The volume now? goes to now? 11. Down, down. It's still loud. It's so weird. He's like way louder than everybody else. Did your cat sabotage your setup? Yep. Oh, well, no. Probably. Keep going. We'll just tell him to keep going until we can't hear him. Shh, don't tell him. Keep talking. <laughs> just realize this is an, an infinitely, I can I can dial this infinitely. Well, keep going. turn the, so I'm just gonna the, keep, keep the going. microphone volume in the Zoom. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, you're right. I'm going to do it that way. Where is that? It, you just go to settings under audio. So before we get started with kids on brooms, we're gonna figure out how to how yeah, to set up right? a stream audio. <laughs> While he's All doing right. that, what other ideas yeah. do we have for well, these truths? Um, truths. Do they have to Is be it? about the magical essence, Chad, or can they be other aspects of? It can be other aspects. Mm -hmm. um, you know, could, could it be, be about the school? Could be about the school. Yep. Like these are just, a, yeah. Hmm. Something about the origins of the school, maybe. Or do we have that later in the world building? Is that more of a world building thing? Um. I. You know. I guess I don't specifically have a question as to about the school origin, but that's definitely something we can we can talk about. Well, let's let's think about keep six keep truths in your mind 
Uh, but uh, let's let let's move on from that. We can always come back to it. One other question, um, Chad, as we move on. Yep. Um, can can the chat offer up ideas? Not that we'll necessarily adopt all the chat ideas, but can they? Th are we we're open to folks throwing some things out? Maybe. You know. Yep. Yep. As a matter of fact, eventually uh, there will be some chat facing polls. Ooh. So if you're mm -hmm. out there watching in chat, there will be some polls that we have we have prepared that you will get to be involved Ooh. in. Um, yeah. Am All I right. quieter now? Yeah, you're good. Yes. Yeah. You're more in, li you're more in line with everybody else now. That's perfect. Cool. 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 All right. So I'm going to skip to question two in world building local i'm going to come back to the name we'll come back to the name um so where where is the school located what's a what's a good idea for for where it is like where do we want to kind of set the game right mm. like in london minneapolis scotland you know Down is it in duluth Right? Is it in Australia? The Australian we, outback. Mate. We, uh, Bring back Dian oh, Let's let's not mandate accents. That would be that Well, would you could be, be a foreign exchange student. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Do we um, want here's a question for the group. Do we want to have a have the school be in like a like sort of mediocre, non like fantastical place, or do we want it like in a like it's it's hidden in Mount Rushmore or something, you know, not that, but something that's kind of like in a prominent feature. Yeah. Well, a lot of we do have a we do have a question that is like what the question three is what cool magical obfuscation hides the school from Monday night. Oh, right. That's so cool. if you think about like you think like Hogwarts is kind of a bad idea is kind of a bad example because like the obfuscation is how to get there. And realistically, it's just in fucking Scotland. Like, right. there's no reason you shouldn't be able to go there. And yet, mundane it, people never find yeah. their way there. That's something they never really talk about that I know of anyway. But it's, yeah, you it's, know, almost, like, it's almost treated like another plane of existence, though. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I like the idea of shadow magic, where, like, you could go through a, a pool of darkness to, like, another place. and mm. And I think that it would definitely people wouldn't stare at shadows too long um so to be able to have that be an access point or a way of travel would be pretty cool interesting um one thing i i, I was thinking of is have it be in a remote location and mm -hmm. the school grounds are kind of protected by this you know obfuscating magic that makes the building invisible essentially, but it also kind of just charms people. Like say you get the random hiker walking around, they just kind of like go around it or come up to it and just turn around and don't realize mm -hmm. that they've done it. Like That's a, pretty cool. like an abandoned 1980s library that hasn't been updated. <laughs> Like right. every uh, everyone's always like, I gotta go to the library, and then you're at like Starbucks with no books, and you're like, How the fuck did I get here? No, oh, <laughs> man, that library is always closed. Well, There's a library we, that's near me that's always closed. Yeah. And I'm like, this has to be a front for something. I, I was thinking of that as more for like a remote location, say like a like a cliff, like a forest, maybe. Yeah, or like mm -hmm. a section of a forest or a, a a peak on a mountain, like a not a huge mountain, but you know, some kind of like remote mountain peak where, sure, you know, if somebody just happens to come along, it's remote. But if they do happen to come along, they kind of just walk around it without kind of realizing that they didn't spend time there. Do you, if, how would you get there? Would it be like magical means to actually get to that location if it's in, if it's remote or would there be like a road, like a winding road to get there? Like the uh, Overlook Hotel, you know, in the Shining mm -hmm. kind of idea. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't considered that. I think it would be, yeah, maybe dirt roads. Um, so another, let's so sorry. let's ask. So I like I like both of these kind of ideas that you guys have put forward so far. So let's ask let's ask this question: Do we want 
do we want it to kind of be set like essentially like in a city like in a town right um or or like hogwarts is it a little more remote mm. i kind of like it being sorry go ahead kirk oh uh, well i was thinking if we went remote um well another idea besides this forest idea and the cliff i was thinking we could have it hidden in plain sight and do like area 51 Mm. where like the mundane are told never go here don't even fly over it right it's like a a scary dilapidated (laughs) school so if they walk by it just looks like a murder school only like once you go past the magical barrier it's all like nice and magic and yeah you have the line you could tell me play a lot of D &D. dark shadows and murder schools (laughs) you know one one thing i as Chad, as you posed that question, one thing that came to mind right away is that if if we are in a in like a city, for example, there's a lot of whims, you know, fun whimsical things that could happen in a city that we wouldn't have happen in like the 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 remote, right? You could you could go to Starbucks and have something weird happen, you know. So there's ways that might make for a lot more options for play. I have sure. an idea. I mean, who who's seen Howl's Moving Castle? You know, yeah. Uh, so like, you I've twist yeah. the knob and and like the door changes to a different location. Mm. So yeah. like, you flip it to one thing, you open. Suddenly, you're in the middle of the city. You flip it to another way. Suddenly, you're in the middle of the wasteland. Yeah, that's um, pretty cool. That's cool. Doctor Strange. And if they ever try to like break the, in when it's not right. set up to the right door then they just like break into like an abandoned home or something. There's nothing there. Hmm. That's, Cause that's like idea. the really cool part about like Diagon Alley in yeah. you know, Harry Potter's like it's in fucking London, like it's in downtown London or wh- wherever, you know, like that's, that makes it super interesting, more interesting to me than like Hogwarts. Although, mm-hmm. you know, school in a castle is rad. I like that, that, that doors thing. That's cool. And I like the option um, of having the city, city adventures as well as you know wherever the door opens to it gives us a lot of options yeah i would say like a mix Mm -hmm. okay okay so let's go with a city what mug do you have now ashley nice i do what i want (laughs) um it's a good one do you have a city in mind where this would be denver I will point out that this is an important question because it will help me be able to pick out art. I'm drug. Come again? Wall drug. Wall drug. <laughs> Wait, so like South like, South Dakota, North Dakota? Where's wall drug? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna a, call Deadwood a, a terrible city. joke. I'm not gonna call Deadwood a city. No, <laughs> that place is weird. <laughs> it's a giant amusement park. I mean, what about like? Like a big city, like I don't know, London, New York, Paris, something like huge metropolis. And, and then like one cool, like cool, like um, points of interest, right? Yeah, London exactly. Bridge, yeah. And you know? and like known, right? So like, let's just say we decided. Not that I'm saying we need to, but if we decided Paris, like there could be you put up a picture of the Eiffel Tower, and we know that we're there's something happening. You know, pe- people are going to yeah. recognize that right away. Yeah. Right. Or yeah, like if we did that multiple, you could change the location. Like one of them is just like rural Iowa. There's just corn everywhere. <laughs> we love you, Iowa. Yeah, like, it could be there <laughs> yeah. could be like decentralized. This is getting a little ahead of ourselves now, but there could be like some decentralized like lab classrooms. Mm. Right. Like, oh, your herbology class. Like there's a fucking field lab classroom in like you know, I don't know, the Mark Twain National Forest in in, in Missouri or something, you know. Sure. Just, that could be super interesting. I have a real basic um, question that is not off yep. topic, but what what would be the uh what would be the rating of this show? Like G P G P G thirteen R I'll stop there. Yeah, I think <laughs> knowing that it's us, probably PG-13, like, it'd be fun to try to do it PG, but let's be honest, 
I swear a lot. A fuck ton. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Yeah. A metric shit ton. Gonna stop. I'm going to try to stop, but it's, it's, I'll slow down, but it's not going to stop. <laughs> so like PG 13. I'll just drag you back down with me. The first step yeah, is right. acknowledging right. that you have a problem. So you're well on your way to recovery. <laughs> well on my way. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking recovery. Okay. Yeah. PG-13. Six years in the military. Um, screws you for life. <laughs> hey, man, my dad built our house when I was four. That's, I, that's all I got to say. <laughs> Those are the first yeah, words yeah. you learned. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. All right. Ideas for a city. And we can come back to that too. Um, um, but I like, I like the city idea. I think that's cool. I really like this idea of like an old library. I think that's really interesting. Um, old one libraries of, one are of, always cool. One yeah. of the ideas I had was to put it in a, a city in decline, you know, kind of like, like, Duluth? like <laughs> <laughs> no, like urban decay, you know, like what they call urban decay, where there's just like a bunch of old, um, abandoned, like factories. Okay. Like Detroit. So like in, so like, yeah. Yeah, right. I, so I like know. Detroit. Yeah. We love like you, Detroit. Gaby, Indy. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to. As we insult so most this, of the, I mean, the like, Midwest. So, well, the car. <laughs> you know what? I've been to Iowa. There is a lot of corn. <laughs> Well, it's so like, is it, you know, so the best creek like we would have ever had is a city that's it's, in it's decline lovely. or like the like, area that of the, of this town it doesn't, is like the it could old be, side of town. What I'm saying is it could be like a fictional city whose industry has abandoned it. You know what I okay. mean? So it's like, like Detroit or, um, some of those old steel towns, like, um, there's just like these massive swaths of like abandoned factories and sure empty buildings that nobody goes around because it's just like a big empty shell I don't Chernobyl? Know. <laughs> Chernobyl oh exactly. there you go exactly. actually that's, that's hey that's yeah a people good aren't idea. gonna be there and then like they just go around like turning the animals <laughs> different colors and and people like don't go there Luna Leche thanks for the follow appreciate you y- in mother Welcome. Russia magic cast you Um, yeah, if like the mundane regular people come around, they get like tickets for trespassing and they become mutants. <laughs> That's why they avoid it. Right. Ooh. It's uh, radiation. Chad. Yeah, it's radiation, but you yeah, just man. get like. I have an idea for six truths. Okay. Uh, there is a certain level of magic use. Maybe it's like recklessness or something but it can like corrupt you if used mm, if used magic. yeah if you if you use it incorrectly maybe or i don't know but that it has the power okay. to corrupt like if you go too dark yeah and that's why school's so important cuz they're trying maybe they're trying to teach people you know how to use it for for good mm. well just if you talk about how there's that what was it like the council for ethical Mm-hmm. magical use or something like that mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. where you you know you'll get in trouble if you just like use your magic to murder people like they'll come after you Ooh, kai whimsy had a good comment kirk you rascal the entire town was obliterated by a bad spell that's why chernobyl is you know mm-hmm. and it was a cover-up <gasps> yep, all a cover-up <laughs> oh yeah. and radiation is wild magic Ooh. Ooh. But they still have a Starbucks because I want to do at least one Starbucks scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's the we only thing that. that's protect- protected. It's that. the Chernobyl one thing they say. The it's random the Starbucks. Well, we know Starbucks is part magic. Well, what anyways. about like, Not what about like, um, you know, obviously we can, you know, we, you know, what about like something like uh, that fucking. What was the nuclear meltdown in America? Where was that? Six Mile Island. Yeah, Six Mile Island. That's way out in the middle of fucking nowhere, though, isn't it? I don't know. Well, it was on the East Coast, not East far Coast, from New yeah. York, I think. Um, or like that uh, that place in uh, in in Japan, Fukushima. Uh, we could talk Fukushima. to uh, Phoenix. That's where Phoenix over lives. By, yeah, over by yeah. where Phoenix lives. Um, Six Mile Island. 
it's in John could send us a bunch of photos to use. I think that happened in like the seventies, right? Yeah. Maybe that's where the school was before they had to move each time. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry you know, about that. It, no, it's three. Uh, so so check this out. So Six Mile Island is a park. Oh, Three Mile but Island. Three Mile Island was the partial met da- meltdown. Um, and most people don't know this, but it was it was Six Mile Island before the melt- meltdown, and then they had to reduce it <laughs> to three. They had to rename it. <laughs> That's not true, folks. I am oh, not a historian. Do that. not yeah. do not believe what I say. Would you say that was a half life joke? <laughs> yeah, it oh, was. <laughs> oh. oh boy. That's a great game, by the way. Uh, hmm. Wiki, you're not telling me where it oh, it's in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Londonbury Township, Pennsylvania. But uh yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess my, like, that's an interesting idea. My question would be, like, is, like, how do we rectify, like, being in a city center and the site of a mundane affected natural disaster like a nuclear well, meltdown right there's an easy or we don't or, that. right there's an easy explanation and it's called time travel and chad i know you're a huge fan of time travel I fucking hate time travel <laughs> <laughs> well couldn't uh, all of these that, like chad? sites of Wait, disasters why, well, why don't you like time travel? yeah chad tell us why you don't like time I travel i don't like time travel because <laughs> most most things that use it it's a it's a horrible crutch for oh, bad yeah. writing. Yeah, give us an example, Chad. Anything in Star Trek after like the mm. Star Trek what? Yep. 5 4? Yeah. So, <laughs> and tell us a little bit about how you feel about Alien Resurrection. No, I'm just kidding. I'm oh kidding. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's a different kind of stream. <laughs> uh we, I, we I think tra- you're right, though. The 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 Chernobyl kind of scenario is is pretty interesting, but doesn't allow. But that for- could be a. But I mean, realistically, like we could still use that idea. Of, like maybe maybe that's a really inter- that's a thing. Like because that's a really interesting thing. But maybe that's not like where the school is. Right. right? That's what I was thinking. Like, but maybe there's like a research facility there because it was a magical incident that's been covered up as a nuclear reactor. That's meltdown, cool. I like right? that idea. Um, maybe all of these sites of like of uh, disasters are just magical cities that are cloaked like Chernobyl Area 51 Fukushima yeah, but we all know that there's actually aliens in Area 51 like, and Nazis on the moon everybody knows that yeah, Nazis, on the, Nazis on the moon secret moon base <laughs> Fuck, I love that movie so bad <laughs> It's so bad. It's so dumb, but it's so That's good. what makes it so good. So right. bad. It's so good. Yeah. You can say that again, Thanks, Andy, with guy. that deep voice. So bad. It's so good. Wow. That's upperclassman material right there. <laughs> you think so? You're no freshman. That's for sure. Okay. Um. All right. We'll come back to some of that. Um, I like this. I really like this doors thing, this Howl's Moving Castle style doors thing. I think that's really interesting. I do have some really cool, like, uh, I have watched Lock and Key. I'm not going to get into how I really feel about that show. Um, but imagery, I love it. Like I have some really cool images in my uh, folder of like, I could get these images and use them that are but kind of key and door centric um like already because that's where my brain thinks anyway so i i think that could be a like a really interesting idea of like the doors and and having certain keys in doors like gets you to different places or whatever i think that's really cool all right um let's let's move along a little bit how are we doing on time okay we're great um Let's get into a little bit of uh, some short NPC generation. 
who runs this school? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Mm. RPG, I like it. Bit right. of homage. She, she didn't pass away. She just had to retire to her wizarding career. She got she got promoted. Right. They wanted her <laughs> to be the head of the school, so she had to step down. Also, she you know, the fact that she was getting so old and she was still in such great shape was becoming suspicious. Yep. Head <laughs> mistress of the mundane became head mistress White. of the magic. <laughs> hmm. No, nah, we better steer clear of the Supreme Court. Yeah, I don't want to try to role play Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, I, you know, I just invented a name. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, Chancellor Conrad Aldo. Aldo. Ooh. I was thinking Sting. Celebrity. Yeah, okay. like a celebrity, might be kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, because here's the deal. If it is Sting, I'm gonna do a lot of like magical cover intros. Yeah. See, all right. If if we're gonna like cater to Chad, Christopher Walken is the <laughs> head of the school. Right. <laughs> Done. Done. I I can't believe that we I didn't think of that. Yeah, absolutely. Christopher, I'm in. Raise your hand <laughs> if you're in. <laughs> Chat. Betty That's White, two, not bad. Three. That's a good option all too. Right came out of my mouth all right that was genius God, thank you is the headmaster <laughs> yeah or at least someone who sounds like him yeah you know i, I, I gave i gave him like three beautiful like sounding interesting names and it's gonna be christopher walken i should pull him up <laughs> well i can still well, be so one of your christopher beautiful walken names, isn't but... his real name yeah we could use his cool names but too. we gotta use his mm -hmm. accent that's the key yeah, I can I can do that. Yeah, Christopher Walken was a stage name anyways. We all know that. Right. Do you know how he got the name? No. He uh so he had heard that there were some uh, auditions, but he his agent did not get him uh a spot and he just walked in and they asked him like, "Who are you?" And he said, "I'm Christopher Walken." <laughs> wow. Oh, Again, I am not a historian, nor am I a celebrity <laughs> expert, so do not believe me. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I'm hearing this, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. know. If I believe that one, <laughs> Chris. Uh, just drop really? your real name in the chat and let us know. We know you're watching. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Take that watch These out of your ass. These are some really good names, Ashley. I do like Thorwald Hectate. Yeah, right. I just, you know, like this entire list of stuff that I sent you before. Yeah. I wrote pages all of pages, that in 10 minutes. Pages, pages. Right. Oh, yeah. Just like, here's, just gonna pour my brain out. Guinevere Rathsbane. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna- See, I've already like named majestic. all your teachers. Here's the, de here's the deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna executive override. Guinevere Rathsbane is the headmistress of the school. Her magical tell is that she does, in fact, talk like Christopher Walken. <laughs> She's a <laughs> female Christopher it. Walken. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm going to work on that. It's going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait. What is Guinevere's title? Like, is it simply headmistress, right? Or is it, is it, you know, is it like something ridiculous and crazy like, Maga Supreme, <laughs> you know, or like, hmm. how do you spell Guinevere? Bear of the Eye of Agamama, or whatever, you know. How do you spell Guinevere? Here, I'll put it. I'll put it in. Uh, I'll put it in chat and Discord chat. Okay, I'm getting ready for one of these polls. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, any ideas for a title? Supreme Mistress. <laughs> mm, Supreme Mistress. I like that. 
Supreme Mistress of the Unseen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta like Alter of Faces. When she was younger, she had a she had like a five year stint on the uh, WWE Wizard Wrestling Entertainment, and she was the face melter. Maybe she she's head mistress, but then she has a bunch of titles, right? Right. Like yeah. Supreme mistress, yep. face melter of the unseen. I don't know. Something. Honorary member of Spinal Tap. <laughs> <laughs> right. The second drummer. From- <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, let's do a quick poll. Let's do a poll. All right, chat. Here's a poll for you. Um, as it comes up, uh, what is Guinevere Rathsbane, the supreme mistress of the school, headmistress? What is her familiar? Ooh, here we go. Get your votes in. Every vote counts. Exercise your rights to vote. Oops, all votes. <laughs> One of your wraths, Bane. If I ever run as a Democrat for pol- for political office, that's going to be my campaign slogan. Oops, all votes. <laughs> Get your votes in. The clock's ticking. Oh, it's up on top. I kind of wanted some more ridiculous animals than that. Ooh, there we go. Like, Raven and Pigeon are are taking the lead. Pigeon ooh, has got... Oh, yeah. Pigeon is pulling ahead. Here we go. I think it's going to be Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> it, it needs to be a real... It is Pigeon. Pigeon. I just got the two eyes on... Either side of its head. <laughs> so, what is she? Uh, what is what is going to be her best known for? Like, if you were to pick like one thing, like oh, everybody knows her because of this thing. Um, unlike, say, Professor Dumbledore, nobody actually knows. Well, I guess he fought Grenwald Grindelwald. Right. Um, Whatever that guy's name, he fought. Right, the Dark Wizard. Fought, yeah, he fought Colin Farrell, Johnny Depp, <laughs> Grindelwald, or something like that. Grim, yeah, Grimwald, Grendel, Grendelwald, Grimroot. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, what's like? What's the one thing like? Like that she's like really known for? A Gene Simmons Island. tongue. Vamp Vamp says Gene Simmons a, a tongue as long as Gene Simmons. Vamp, explain yourself. That, that does, Ex- yeah, that doesn't seem like epic enough. She caused Wait, she, she caused Three Mile Island. Yeah, yeah, that was. Like that was but why would they put her in charge that? of the school Do you if she that she did? I maybe mean, it was a wizard she, duel. What if it maybe was she a wizard took over duel? the school? Like, was it a wizard duel? And Three Mile Island was like the fallout of the duel, and she won the duel. Sure. And saved the school from destruction. Yeah. Destroyed the school by accident. Or wherever. (laughs) Or maybe the school was there at that point, and and she was able to move the school in the Mm, nick of time before the explosion. Oh, I like that idea. I was thinking that they could, like, kind of magically transport the school around. Maybe she's really good at this relocation magic, like the. Yeah, maybe she invented it. Going out mm-hmm. a different door and being a different city. Maybe not mm-hmm. invented it, but like a well-known kind of pioneer, you know, in that field of translocation. <laughs> and maybe, maybe she did it while she was a student at the school, and the school was about to be obliterated, and she was like a prodigy child and moved the school somehow like Harry Potter. And now many years later, she's become the headmistress, sorcerer, supreme lady. Okay, I, I like, like it. it. I like it. Okay, okay. 
let's let's move along let's move along uh what is one of our favorite magical pastimes slash sports and what are the two what are two things that it is a mashup of what was the like two mundane two normal things that are then made magical there's like kind of like you know like quidditch is like a weird kind of like handball on brooms did you have a couple of pre-stream submissions through your form? I do, yeah. Let's see. What do I have? I forgot what I said, but I think it had something to do with bowling. Um, yeah, so there's a bowl miming, lunar oh, yeah. bowl miming. I think that was after um, our mime rant. Baked goods. Dragon tipping. Yeah, experimental baked goods. <laughs> experimental baked goods. Magical <clears throat> creature collection. It's kind of a Pokemon uh, thing. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> Creating wildly bizarre remote-controlled earth golems and then having them fight each other. Kind of like battle bots, but magic. That's pretty Highly cool. prized illusion cool. magic-based video games that are traded among students. Dodgeball-like game played in the forest on brooms. As if it were dodgeball on on speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi. (laughs) That sounds uh, that sounds so awesome. It would be cool if it incorporated the paintball tournaments. Lacrosse on brooms. Obstacle lacrosse on obstacle race lacrosse on brooms. Interesting. I do like obstacle races. I like I like racing. I like the idea of racing brooms against other students. That sounds fun to me. Yeah. Well, if you think this of like high school sports, broom racing. you have like, <laughs> you know, cross country. So that's what I was trying to think of when I thought of that. It's cool. Or like, you know, grade school is like dodgeball and like the sports that aren't quite sports. Yeah. yeah like uh parachute. Remember parachute? <laughs> Did you guys have that? Just, where you yeah, just, like, where you, yeah, you were all playing, and then you get underneath parachute. and sit down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but parachute with like a bunch of balls on it. I that? think the racing aspect would be really fun to play out. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah you're trying to like maybe bump other people. Thing. Yeah, obstacle course, and maybe you're like kind of rubbing his race, and you're kind of bashing into people. Okay, that might be kind of cool. So. Obstacle What's up, Yasha? Course broom racing. It's been a while. I like it. I like it. It's like Mario Kart, but with brooms. Nice. Um, and what do we call that? Does anybody have any idea for a name for it yet? And again, we can come back to these. Broom, broom. <laughs> I like broom, 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 broom. Is it purely racing, or is it got some other element to it? I think maybe there's. So you, you can get you get points mm. based on time, but you also get points for obstacles completed. So maybe or how about par, so maybe like part of the game is like knowing what obstacles like choosing which obstacles to kind of skip around you know but then maybe like if somebody's like a super prodigy at obstacles like they can just rack up a shit ton of points. Mm-hmm. Vamp is killing maybe. it in the chat. Flarg squalling. Would would non lethal magic be allowed during the races? Like, like Fuck yeah. Maybe at that, like higher that's levels. That's kind of part of it. Maybe not at like first level, but like yeah. higher levels. Or like some kind of play. limit. That's like high on, school shit. Yeah, like the type of, like you have a set number of spells that you could use. Mm. Like if it was a video game, you have like spell slots. Yeah, like you. That's like D&D, right? But you have, yeah, you, you like load up, preload, like preload your spells. Like today I'm bringing shield and fucking sticky blob yeah like sticky blob not like fireball 
So, right, right, right. you know, <laughs> this is going to definitely influence like, so for the chat, like we all start with a broom, a magical broom. At least that's my understanding of reading the book. And uh, yep. that's going to definitely influence my broom selection if we're going to be well, racing. And it might also interest, oh, bolting it might 4, influence your trope too, because yeah, you can't be highly broom oriented and have like a low flight, correct? Um, Probably I mean, helps you if could. you have a higher flight. Yeah. Could be really, your character could be really bad at the, at the broom racing, that could be your thing. <laughs> yeah, you could That's be Don Weasley. Yeah. All right, I like it. I like this flarg squalling. That sounds yeah. Cool. Vamp, congratulations, buddy. You got it in there. All right. Um, what is a notable landmark that the school has? You know, like a a water fountain, you know, made in Charlemagne's time or, you know, like, I don't know. Do you want me to read off all the stuff? I mean, oh, I yeah. I, I keep forgetting. How many pages like, yeah. are we talking, Ashley? We've only got, <laughs> we've only got a little bit of time tonight. It's there's more a... than three. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, a large open air courtyard where kids congregate between classes. Statue of the founder, sprawling lawns, uh, endless chocolate fountain, a talking statue, an enchanted water park, mushroom circle. That's interesting. A reverse waterfall. Ooh, the I like book that. Book obulet. That's pretty cool. Elevated flying Oblique. equestrian stages. The badger warren. Oh, I was going to put Badger as an option for the fucking familiar. Ah, oh, well. Um. Vamp, don't get That's cocky a, now, buddy. What would a book obulet be? <laughs> Vamp's got fondue on the mind. Oubliette. A book oubliette. 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 What's, a, what's an oubliette again? I forget. I know. No, a cool it sounding word. Rad, it's a cool no, sounding it means, word. No, no, no. It means to forget in French. <laughs> it's uh, it's like kind of like people would, would be put in a prison and like you'd for to be forgotten about. Like just it's not a, there to oh, go. Okay. So it's a it's book a yet. The secret dungeon with access only through a trap door in its ceiling. Whoa. That too. Cool. That's going to be a place in the library. A death that's chamber. That's going to be like, that'll be like, that'll be like the, you know, the like. Restricted book the, section. The restricted zone. It'll be the, <laughs> the, uh, the, I can't Oubliette. say Oubliette. 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 It's, yeah, it's Oubliette. French, right? Yes. It means to forget. Can we find a harder word to pronounce? Just, there's got to be a harder one than that. What? Well, you know what? Don't look at the spelling. Like. <laughs> Like spell it phonetically and then never it. look at it again. You gotta you're, feel you're the it. One, you're the one that gave the bar the name, uh, the tavern in our town, Anemone. Right. Anem <laughs> an here, here, I struggle say, with say that, that every session. Say it, say it like I'm always like, Anemone. 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 There you go. Anemone. Anemone me. Yeah. I trip on my, I trip over that. I didn't realize, but you're absolutely right. I wrote trips on it. I know it's an enemy. <clears throat> it's an enemy. I, like I thought it was an, an enemy. enemy is an enemy. Is an enemy. It's an enemy an to enemy. my tongue is what it is. I, I like the idea of this mushroom circle. That could be really interesting. Like Forest this, of, like, of petrified wizards. Big, big, magical, like ancient mushroom circle at, 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 at some place. That's cool. And there's a rite of passage as you as you go from being an underclassman to an upperclassman where you eat mushrooms. That's PG thirteen, yep. isn't it? Is that yep. PG thirteen yeah. or is that R rated? I don't know. Well, hallucinogenics, uh, edibles, I mean, they did hallucinogenics, and fucking Harry Potter. Uh, you can get they did. Pizza. Uh, I, guess I should maybe. watch that. I guess I don't know. There is some weird trippy stuff in that book. Those books. 
What about there's a strange creature that lives like a like a fantastical, not a monster, but like some sort of non-human intelligent creature that is maybe even a, I don't know if they'd be a, maybe they could be a teacher. Maybe that's a teacher when we get into like building the, the like teachers Like the centaur up. teacher? Yeah. The, uh, the divination teacher centaur guy in Harry Potter? Yeah, something like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. We could bring in my my hedgehog turned into a wizard teacher. <laughs> hedgehog wizard. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I said like for for school history, true or rumor that a hedgehog was turned into a wizard through an experimental spell, and maybe that could be a teacher. <laughs> the caterpillar mm-hmm. teaches herbology. I like that a lot. That's that's my jam, Darth. We're mm. same wavelength. Is it like an actual like little caterpillar that we all have to like crowd around, or is it like a, a big caterpillar I'm like, Alice in, more like the Alice in Wonderland version? Big hookah burning. Teaches herbology. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, what is um, what is one of what is one of the most unconventional classes at school? What did we say in our submissions? Because I can't oh, remember. Sorry. I had a hard um, time with this one. Home ec. <laughs> it's I like mean, so manda- mundane. It's hard. Gladiatorial baking. Ooh. Musical charms. Underwater spell casting. Something called body sorcery. I think that's uh, I think that's a uh, that's an anime series. That's R rated, uh, guys. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> brains. Band. A cooking class. Who put band? <laughs> I did band <laughs> class. This one time at band camp. Yeah. I. Uh, it's like yeah. they're Muggle studies. Yeah, class. just like yeah. they're so kind of like. <laughs> mundane and like normal that they're difficult instead of they're women's studies of, muggle, studies, is that kids? muggle <laughs> studies oh gosh Truth. so my question like yeah hmm. <clears throat> is this supposed to be like know, is this, the idea behind this kind of like that's one of those classes just like huh, I have to go to muggle studies I've got a test class like one of those or would it be more of like a something that you're stoked to go to yeah unconventional could be it could kind of go either way Mm -hmm. i guess it depends on your trope too like yeah it doesn't really i guess it doesn't really give um, okay so here's so the example in the book um magical crops for non-magical farmers oh yeah Uh, corn augury. <laughs> is this school in fucking Iowa? Yeah, yeah I think that was one of their examples. It was. Yeah, yeah. the example was set in Iowa. Oh, yeah, I will say I really like how corn maze. I like how they did that in the book. Just FYI to folks who have not seen this book, they have like <laughs> really cool examples of different choices that you might make yeah. for your character, or yeah. examples of how the games played. It's pretty sweet. I like that. Um, murder in accounting class. <laughs> this is not D and D vamp. Magical yeah. beard grooming <laughs> and growing and growing. Body sorcery. It's interesting. That's oh, that sounds so hot. <laughs> Different stream. You have yeah, to get an not, inflatable pool for that one. Not, not inappropriate I'm write down, body sorcery. Oh. Magical, I'm going to write down magical beard care. Or just like magical hygiene it's an, in general. It's an elective. Magical grooming. Yeah. Just like a hygiene class. You don't want to be a dirty wizard. <laughs> yeah, you do right. not want to grow up to be a dirty <laughs> wizard. <laughs> that practices body sorcery. Ew. Disgusting. <laughs> No one likes dirty 
body sorcery. No. Yeah. Dirty body. Gotta clean that up. (laughs) Oh boy. Anything else? Let's do another one. Do we have like magical grooming is interesting? It's unconventional, maybe. Yeah. That's that's the name of the textbook. Your magical body hair and you. (laughs) Required reading. Bam! You're crushing it. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Um, what about trip? music? Musical charms is cool, but how is that unconventional? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I was thinking more like you know, music played in certain ways or would like pi- like Pied Piper level shit. Yeah, kind of like a bard level mm. kind of stuff mm. where like you play music and different things happen. Um interesting. Probably a source of um um uh, mind der- control. What? <laughs> derision amongst the student body like, "Oh, you're a fucking you're a musical charms geek." Right, like maybe, maybe you know, I don't know. Band, like you know, band kid. band kids. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, I like that. I, I mean, like we could that. teach like, you know, a teleportation type stuff through doors and shadow magic and other kinds of portals. Mm-hmm. Um, or like, what are other cool spells like? Uh, I don't know, turning yourself it, into a vaporous kind of thing. Um, so solid to a vapor and back and forth or um, Transfiguration? Yeah. Interesting. What kind of magic do you guys want to do? I'm gonna come up with a cool Spitballs. Magical spitballs. Kapow! Look out. Do you just want them to like hurt really bad or you want them no, to be messy? Canted? I like them. They're, just they're like, going to be soft like, and goopy really and big. messy. I don't like the hard ones that hurt. They, you know, that's not the point. The point is to make a mess. Like the real chewed up ones. Yes. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yes. about. They hit the chalkboard and they're just. What about the a effects splattered. of language on power words? Mm. The effects of language on power words? Yeah, like you say fire, and then you say fire in Spanish, and then you say fire in French. Magical candy making. That. Or how about just like magical linguistics? Like yeah, there we go. Certain spells, certain spells don't work. One of the, so I'm reading um, I'm reading a, a series of books called The Skullamance, and it's a it's like a magical school series of books, and um, the students at the school learn like like everyone knows like six to six plus languages like they learn like old Sanskrit like oh there's only like these spells are in chinese and that's it so if you want to use these spells you got to learn chinese mm. that's super interesting yeah it doesn't translate well to other languages right right and then going back to the sixth truths maybe that's one of our sixth truths is there are certain spells that work in any language but many are only effective in one language there are like greater spells that are universal to all languages. So maybe a, a large a large portion of, of what magic is, is grammar and phonetics. Pronunciation. Uh, Kirk, I love that <laughs> yeah. idea, but, but I, also- I, want, I want you to think about one thing. This is not fucking graduate school, okay? <laughs> These are like kids, okay? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, maybe because maybe they're born all over the world and maybe some of them speak other native languages, you know, yep. is their native tongues. And so they have access to alternate magics because of their native tongue. 
or like everyone at the the, school even in the the real world you have a better chance of learning a language if you start at a young age i'm definitely dropping out of the school (laughs) (laughs) i can see my character arc already if i you know if a spell has meaning in in the language it was created in like when you translate a word from one language to another it it changes its meaning slightly you know like there's not that many like words that are exactly you know encompass the same thing you know it's like oh it means this and this and this and this and sort of like that and then you change it to a different language and they're like no it means like sort of different because some languages have you know like oh this language has 18 words for the variations of love but right. this language has one word for love and 25 words for how to kill a man with a sword <laughs> you know right i like that i i'm down for th- for this if that's the way you guys want to go as long as magic spitball is in english that's the oh, only yeah. stipulation that i have yeah yeah it's not gonna like yeah and i don't think it's gonna be like no one's you're not necessarily going to be penalized for not knowing sanskrit if it's you know not what you want to do for your character um because ultimately the mechanical system isn't that is that my my new right. should um but that's a cool idea um okay okay let's move a little on uh let's talk about um some some a few pieces of school history uh that can be either true or a famous rumor. Um, I will read you some examples <laughs> that we have, uh, that I have pulled from you, my players. Um, the long dead founder of the school went insane uh, and thought he was a demigod um, or was a famous pirate or got rich during prohibition. I think that's how I should read this. Yep. Or created a magic, uh, a sprawling maze of tunnels under the school was a war profiteer who transmuted mundane minerals into lead and copper for the U.S. military during World War II. I love that. Uh, Was the first to enchant and fly around on a rug. Supposedly buried a large treasure somewhere on the school grounds. Also funny. Um, A hedgehog was turned into a wizard through an experimental spell. Uh, That's, you know, I think we're going to go with that's going to be a thing. Maybe one of the teachers is rumored there's a rumor that one of the teachers was a hedgehog and nobody really knows if it's true or not. Right. Well, it's rude to ask. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Uh, the chocolate fountain turns to caramel on a blue moon. That's only if you have a chocolate fountain to begin with. Right. Is that a a rumor? I mean, it could be, it could be a fact. It could be an interesting fact or it could be a rumor. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's the sort of thing. It's the old, uh, the old, the old pool on the roof <laughs> joke. Um, uh, or the school was built on an ancient gnome burial ground. I like it. That seems, that seems problematic. <laughs> Big time. I don't, I don't really want to deal with, um, angry gnomes, tiny spirits. undead gnomes, Bu- bu- building, <laughs> building over, uh, <laughs> building over indigenous, indigenous magical populations. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it would be hilarious because there would be undead gnomes that would come out. Maybe they're rooms. cool. Maybe they're maybe one of them's a teacher. You know, they're like they're <laughs> down with it. They're the potheads of school. It's just a bunch of stoner. They're always gnomes. just hanging around. <laughs> they don't really go to class. They're just, they're just chilling, and they try to lure the other students to just like skip class. Yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah. What do you guys think? All of them. Any ideas? All of them. Rainbows actually do have skittles at the end. I like the rumor that there are secret tunnels underneath the school i think that's pretty cool it might be fun to follow up on that rumor i like it i like it yeah i was thinking more like things that the characters could kind of pursue or investigate sure mm-hmm. yeah like a, yeah. 
like the school, like a rumor going around school. Right, like the treasure and to look for things. Headshot to wizard. I like it. Uh, And then we'll go, I'm going to write down buried treasure. Who doesn't love a good good buried treasure caper? Treasure. I can type. Okay. Um, do we have ideas for a name for the school? Oh boy. Wilfred School for Wayward Wizards. Oh yeah. Let's. Yeah, we've got Wilfred's Wilfred School of for Wayward Wizards. I like that. Draconis Majesticus. Also cool. Britannica Scholastica, the Academy of Arcane Arts, mm-hmm. Ocean Triple Cliff a. Castle, Sea Dairy, Pearl Sea, Bruxton. <laughs> it sounds like this. It's a school for wizards for rich. They want to go shopping. Kids. Yeah, they want to yeah. go shopping <laughs> for handbags. <laughs> Urban Decay Town. No, that's that's part of. I, I separated my schooling oh, by location. Oh, I see. If <laughs> if the school is under sea, then it could be yeah. called Pearl Sea or Sea Dairy. Because I proposed underwater as being one of the yeah, locations. Yeah. Ocean Cliff Castle, Wind Keep, Storm Home, Sevenberg, Starford, Storm Coast. And then be followed with something like Institute of Magic or something like that. Right. Nice, nice. What do you guys think? Brookstone. Brux- Bruxton? Bruxton. 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 The, the Bruxton Academy. Bruxton School of Magic. The, Bruxton School of Magic, the Bruxton Academy for Arcane Arts. Magical Goat Town. Goatsville. If we do that, we got to change her. her I like the Arcane Arts. Okay. Academy of Arcane Arts. I like that idea too. It's super. Brux, the Bruxton Academy of Arcane Arts. Yep. That works for me. All right, all right. Bye. If you don't do well at the Bruxton Academy of Arcane Arts, you get sent to Wolfred's School for Wayward Wizards. Ah. <laughs> it's a juvie school. It's yeah. a juvie. It's yeah. where you get your yeah. attention. Like lakes. Somebody it's, could be a transfer line, student it's, it's, from it's Magical Juby. Lionel Lakes. <laughs> Lionel Lakes, we love you guys too. <laughs> Man. No, the 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 Juvie school. That's I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. We're doing well. Uh let's take a let's take a mm-hmm. quick break. Um and then we'll get back. We'll do a couple of uh a couple of more and then we'll get into some character stuff. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So let's come back oh, in just... uh I'm gonna remind myself what we, what do we have left for uh, what do we have left for polls? Got a couple of them. Dave, Dave, why don't you do this? Um, go ahead uh, while we're on break. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you throw the the second poll? Okay. You know, the second question poll up, uh, and we'll do it. We can do it for like ten minutes. We can do it for the whole break. So it'll be up during break. Yep. Um, so get a new beverage, take care of yourself, um, get some food, a snack, do this poll, join us for some more session zero shenanigans. Oh, and, and oh. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Uh folks who uh who are hanging out in the chat, thank you so much. Heads up that we do have tomorrow night, Eversalt and I will be jumping back into our fundraiser stream playing knights and bikes, uh, raising money for the Children's uh, Hospital Miracle Miracle Hospital Network. And uh, folks showed up last Friday. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see some of you uh, tomorrow. So we'll see you in a little bit. 
Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. What is a magical problem, be it a, like a catastrophe or or uh, event or or villain, um, that has been either solved or overcome in the past? Some event that like at least everybody in the wizard world or whatever like knows about, like you know, like Voldemort, <laughs> right? Um, well, we talked about that three mile island thing. Maybe that's the maybe that's it. We kind of already mm. maybe we have it already. Okay, just a okay. thought. Doesn't have to be, but or all seems, of those, yeah, yeah. locations. Right, that something. series of events. <clears throat> I like it. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, now, same question, but not solved. So what is a magical problem that was not like really solved or overcome? I mean, maybe like a little bit resolved because obviously like, you know, the world has gone on. It's not like a world ending thing, but like what's something that's like, oh yeah, remember that thing, you know, like the fucking magic plague from... 70 years ago that everyone had but then just magically went away and nobody really knew why you know or like uh something that caused magic to disappear or like to fade from the world mm. or almost completely fade away but was um something happened and there are know. theories amongst some of the some of the faculty that uh, this could happen again. Mm. Like some naturally magical places, like maybe there were some floating floating islands in the sky that fell to earth or some some enchanted forests that stopped growing the trees that were magical. During the 
magical brownout. Yeah, yeah, during the mm. brownout. Mm. Like that. We call it the brownout. Interesting. Yeah. Great browning. The best color. Um, this question may be, may be a, a may be a sort of a, a reach question. It it really just depends on you guys. I don't know. Um, but what sorts of uh, real world traditions are actual magic that a person in our in our in our magical school could use? You know, like is voodoo magic? in our setting actually magic as an example right i think tarot card would be cool mm, mm -hmm. i'm glad that i'm really glad that you said that tarot card also cool would i've always had a fascination with um what are they what are those things called the where you can look oh crystal ball where you can look into the crystal ball and see the future i've always thought that was a cool okay. concept I like the idea of like all kind of traditional magics having like some kind of maybe not being like all powerful, but being like, <clears throat> I don't know. Well, there's practitioners of those magics that it is, I mean, full on sure. magic right. schools, but then there are yeah, sort of I the mundane like users. It's where it's more of like lifestyle and right. Mm -hmm. More a lifestyle than an actual <laughs> school of magic. Yeah. What about uh, dream catchers? Well, yeah, I mean, there you're kind of, there are some, some of these like traditional things are kind of borderline cultures. So, right. Or religions. So, and it could be, it could be too that some of these things, uh, like, are real magic, but because of whatever translation over time you know or distillation of culture through the ages like we, you know there is this uh the set of 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 practitioners that exist but they're like the the kind of like new versions that are like they're missing like that prime component you know like I well, think maybe it's, um, it's the user that is yeah, right. mostly the magic. So they're just using whatever as a focus and the magic is inside mm -hmm. them as opposed to the act actually being right. very magical. And I think that's a, I think that's a cool idea about the traditional magics as long as we don't get into like scenarios where we're talking about these things as if they really aren't magical because for a lot of people they are. And they so are, I, right. I think Absolutely. we would want to be careful in terms of the content. But we do have uh, Darth who is saying that they would be willing to come on as a tarot card reader for a special um, a special episode to read some tarot. Actually, you didn't say that, Darth, but I just put words in your mouth. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, <laughs> like, yeah, let's, I, I'm in. Let's, let's do it. it. I, I'm yeah. in. We'll have a, All in we'll told. Have a, we'll have a guest <laughs> at some point. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually have I have two tarot card decks that I kickstart. Well, one I didn't really kickstart. I kickstarted the uh, tarot card deck by a deck of many of the people who did Humblewood because they have a hol they make the hologram spell cards, mm. and they did a fucking tarot card deck like that, and it looks sweet. I'm still they're getting ready to ship, and I That's yeah, what and then I, and then I I didn't back it when it was a when it was a Kickstarter, but I got, <laughs> I got in and backer kit. It's called the Alley Man's Tarot Card Deck, but it's like a deck of tarot cards that are made up of like seven or eight decks of tarot cards. So like you can make a oh, deck, nice. and then every card is like different and interesting. I was like, that's too. Like cool. they were collected over time and put into one yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's a good yeah. idea. I think that's so cool. Um, I love it. I love it. Okay. Is there uh, a magical governing, bo a governing body of magic? 
you know, like the yes. Ministry of Magic in, you know, is this the sort of thing that's divisional, kind of like the Ministry of Magic is England, and then there's whatever the fuck they call it in America in Harry Potter, you know, and, um, or is there like a is there one world one world's magical government? <laughs> that's not right. problematic. I know, right? Big magical brother, the Council. The Council. Um, <laughs> the Vampire Council. Yeah, I, might, I, mean, I mean, I'd cool. listen to him. Like there a council of some uh, sort of, yeah, a magic council, but nobody knows their true identity. But they they mm. kind of keep they kind of keep things in balance, maybe. So by the monocles, or do they? And they're they're actually saying, all gerbils. Magical um, gerbils, magical sentient gerbils. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just the fact that you have like a school that teaches magic, I think that kind of implies some sort of oversight, oversight to magical society. And, you know, you can't just have people zapping each other with spells all right. the time. And we don't really need to get into it too detailed. After all, we're only playing fucking school kids. Yeah, and and we're not we're not playing school kids across a a, a seven a seven book series <laughs> <laughs> where you, it right. turns out you will get into the ins and outs of magical ruling council. <laughs> um, but I like I like I like just the council. It sounds a little oh, ominous, mysterious. but and mysterious and powerful, and maybe like not good, but maybe good. I like it. Okay. I'm feeling good with that. We got a lot of good stuff there. Um, let me look at the... Uh, um, let's throw up Let's throw up a poll. Um, oh. Let's do the last poll, Dave. Okay. Um, and let's... We could do it for a couple of minutes. We'll have it up while we uh, get into some characters Ashley Dave Kirk Andrew copy paste copy paste put this one up for two minutes how's that sound that works that works Okay, so we've we've briefly talked about it a little bit. Um, what is everyone thinking for tropes? What are your tropes? So for those of you who don't know tropes, uh, viewers out there, tropes are essentially like your kind of your class or like uh, what kind of character you're playing. You know, like the the jock. Uh, you know the 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 brainy recluse, um, the the class clown, that kind of stuff, um, and then it, in this game, it, it in kids on but and kids on brooms, it, it kind of gives you uh, a, a base of what your stats are and and some likely other other interesting things like ages and strengths and flaws and some some interesting background questions as well. Um, so yeah, I've been wavering between reliable bestie and a wacky prankster, but I think wacky prankster is really calling to me okay. on this one. Wacky prankster. Nice. You're doing wacky prankster. You're damn right. I am. I mean, my whole backstory is magical spitball, so I mean that definitely fits yeah. that trope, right? Yeah. So is that like a, is that like a family, is that like a family thing? The spitball. Yeah. Is that like? Is that oh like no a no no. Spell? No, my, no. My mom and dad would not approve They're of not that. that. Okay. No, no. 
no, they don't like, they, they want me to, to study hard and be a good, attentive student. And that is the doctor. last, yeah, they want me to be a magical doctor or lawyer. <laughs> and um, turns out, not into it. So, yeah. No, they're not happy with me. Okay. So basically, I'm just reliving my youth, essentially. Yeah. My Catholic school days as a, as a grade school student. Ashley, what are you what are you thinking? Uh, I was thinking of offbeat eccentric. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I like what's that, that one all about? Like, what's the vibe there? Um, that's a uh, high flight grit brains, and um, it's more like I don't know. They've they've got I- ideas about like you can be. Um, treasure hunter or easygoing or unassuming or wild speak and it's it's a little bit of a you know um kind of like luna love good yeah kind Potter, of a luna love you know? good character what do you believe i like how they have those probing or like those prodding questions for each trope to kind of give you some ideas mm-hmm and what we'll do as well is i'll we won't, I'm not going to ask you guys those questions right now. Um, so, you know, as you're like writing up your character, it, you know, in your, in your, in your rad character journals, um, you know, an- answer those, answer those questions. And then um, we'll use those as like leading questions for like intros. Mm. Okay. Um, Sweet. But Andy. Andy, what do you got, man? What what trope are you going to play? Oh, man. I keep going back and forth oh. between a bunch of different ones. I was thinking you're gonna charismatic. Be an, you're going to be the athlete? You're going to be the jock? I had thought about it. Yeah. You're kind of a fantasy football guy, aren't you? They have a high Didn't flight. you, like, win? You won I your league. second place this year. Hell, yeah. Second place this year, first place last year. Sports ball is the best. Mm-hmm. Go um, local sports team. <laughs> get the ones from the other place. And beat them. Name here. Yeah, win. <laughs> get more points than them. That's my advice. What do you got, Kirk? Definitely going with the withdrawn bookworm. Ooh. Withdrawn bookworm. Nice. What's that all about? Um, Think like... The quiet, timid, shy, you know, not sitting in the front of the row because they're afraid of people being behind them, not really friends with a lot of people because they're scared of socially anxious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. But like super smart. Like I'm three grades ahead of where I'm supposed to be. And so everyone picks on me. Yeah. So I'm like, not happy about that. How do you deal with your anxiety? Um, I I retreat into my books. I don't make eye contact. Magical cocaine. I'll I'll, I'll have books <laughs> on me a lot. I also have hand me downs. All my stuff is like hand me downs. Oh. Kind of are you with. like the youngest of like several wizards or are you the first in your family to be a wizard i am the first in my generation to be a wizard mm-hmm. um i would say my parents aren't magical but my grandparents are mm. okay all right while while andy is still waffling uh, f- for the rest of you, um, are you, and we don't, not everybody has to be the same grade, right? So, uh, have you given any thought to whether you're, um, like a first year, an upperclassman, um, or upper class woman or whatever person, you know, person, upper, upper class, class person, person. That's a different thing. Um, <laughs> are you a richer? Yeah. <laughs> are you rich? 
Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to go younger. I think underclass for me. Okay. Like first year. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's easy to start out as first year, especially when I don't know how to play this game yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you don't, and again, you don't yeah. all have to be the same. You know, that's, but if you guys all want to be first, first years, like that's cool. I'm into that. Yeah. I think I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be a first year, but I'm going to be in third year classes. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Dang. Okay. Dude, dude. Uh, hey, so let's, be, like let's a, be friends, man. You, what is that? You want to help oh, me so with my like, homework uh, a little bit? So I Kirk, mean, so Kirk, you're know. in like, you're in like AP potions. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love like, it. I'm definitely going to get Kirk, Kirk's character to do my homework for me. Probably do it just to not my be charm, like, confrontational. Yeah, yeah. Is this is this gonna be is this gonna be magical Doogie Hauser? <laughs> Pretty much. If Doogie Hauser <laughs> was like scared of talking to people. Uh, oh, I like our it. poll is ready. Whenever you are, Chad, I can view All the right. results. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What? Uh. So the question. What? Is, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what is yeah? So the poll was, uh, where does the school go on a field trip each year? And uh, it was a unanimous decision for roller rink. Uh, there was actually there was one orchestra nerd in the group, but uh, the rest nice. of it was for roller rink, and that is amazing. I love it. I just thought of all of the all of the field trips that we took every year to to uh, oh shit, what's it called? Um, Planetarium. No, the roller. Skate rink. <laughs> there's a roller. There's like two big roller rinks in Minneapolis in the Minneapolis suburban area. I feel like there's and only one of them is now. in my is when in the town where I grew up in in Coon Rapids. World of Wheels. Um, that's in Superior. Wheels Chiefskate. of Fun. Chiefskate. Chiefskate. That's what it's called, Chiefskate. It's also where a lot of the, there's a lot of roller derby that has happened there in in recent times. To roller rink. Cool, cool. Okay. Andy, are you done waffling? You got one yet? No. Okay, okay. We'll come back. No worries. Um, now let's get into some of the other character building questions. Wait. Derp, derp, der, 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 der. Nope. 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 What's the debate, right. Andy? What are you debating between? Yeah, I'm just being indecisive. Oh. Acknowledgement of the problem is the first step. So, there you right. go. Yeah. Um, yeah, just um, trying to figure out like how I would play some of these. Oh, sure. I don't know. Uh, like, so, uh, let's get into motivations. Um, what is something that strongly motivates you? Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be, uh, a sort of thing that drives all of your decisions, but it should certainly drive many of them. Um, especially like big, de- big, big decisions. Um, it could be a specific motivation, like finding a cure for a curse that's afflicting my son, no matter what it costs me. That's, that's heavy or impress Tom so that he'll go out with me. Um, or it could be more generous, general, like look cool or learn good. My motive, my motivation is get good, son. <laughs> Spelled with U's. Hmm. I'm going to get real for a moment with my character. If you don't mind. All right. I'm going to, my character is going to be vulnerable right now. Yeah, he acts out a lot, but 
it's just his way of coping with his insecurity. What he really wants is he wants the approval of his parents. He wants his parents to see that he's worthy of the magical gifts that he's been given. Nice. Courtesy of the Story Engine deck. Nice. Mine. What do you got, Ashley? Um, I was thinking uh, that my character just really wants to actually be good at something. Um, that, you know, perhaps what my parents wanted me to be is not what I'm good at. And mm, mm. I'm looking for something to shine at. Um, but I don't know what that is yet. Nice. I like it. Kirk? I think mine would be kind of a, a motivation by fear of like not being liked, wanting to learn as much as I can so I can become a recluse and get away from the people who pick on me. And mm. But secretly, you also want to be liked? I think... I want to be liked in that it would keep me from being picked on. But mostly I just want to get away from it all and be like, gone. Not like that gone, but like alone. Like unassuming kind of? I, I would you say. Want to graduate and be out of here? Yeah. Well, let me like, you know, in college. I, I want to learn a lot because I'm smart. But I, but I mostly want to do it so that I can get out of being the underclassman mm -hmm. in the upperclassman grades so that I the upperclassmen stop picking on me. Because they pick on you because you're an underclassman. Because, yeah, because I'm smarter than them. Yeah. But okay. afraid, too, yeah. So it's just like fear, motivation through fear. Okay. We're going to take those bullies down. Stick with me, kid. Stick with me, kid. We'll go far, well, see? I mean, I, I, I guess, yeah, okay. It's going to be fine. Come on, let's be friends. So I got this okay. homework assignment. I don't know. Would you okay. mind just kind of yeah, taking a look I'll at it? Yeah, do it. No, no. I mean, just take a look at it. If you want, I mean, if you want to do it. Don't hit me. Just don't hit me. No. <laughs> Oh, come here. <laughs> come on. Let's go get a glass of milk. I do like milk. Me too. Love it. See? What We're best a, friends. Yeah. Dude, first day what of school a, is tough. <laughs> what are your fears? Like you got to find your tribe as quick as you can. Fears. <laughs> <clears throat> no, yeah. Was there a table for this? Nope. It's a you table in your brain. Um, boy, you know, there might be. Let me look. Mm. A table for what? Fears. Fears. I believe there's, Appendix there's, there's a. a table for flaws. Strengths. Well, that's flaws. Never mind. Oh, there's no. Relationship questions. I believe fears oh, is like flaws. you choose your fears. Yeah, so what a, what a, uh, think about what it is that scares you. There will be some mechanical implications for this fear that will be addressed. Uh, it, on page 51, the stat checks and fears. Um, in terms of role playing your fears, you will, of course, want to avoid your fears. And when confronted with them, you'll behave more irrationally when facing that fear. Ultimately, what you fear in the game is up to you. Underclass students usually fear things that rationally they shouldn't and don't fear things that they ought to. Um, they're more likely to walk up to a stranger covered in blood to make sure they're okay than they are to open up their closets in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, generally, children fear the unknown and what they can't see. Um, yeah, you know. Kirk, 
Could be. What are you thinking, Ashley? Spirit. I can see I can see the gears turning on Ashley right now. What do you got? <laughs> What's There's in that four-page backstory? It's not written yet. Um, it's hard to write a backstory for a world that hasn't been created yet. You yeah. know, so like because everything kind of reflects off of different things. You go, oh, okay, this is the parameters of the world. So this is how I want to squish myself into it so that I'm fully integrated. Um, but, hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking either either a fear of heights or or a fear of um, public speaking or um, or like a fear of crowds might be interesting or mm. just doesn't want to be the center of attention or that might be too much like Kirk's. You said fear of crowds and fear of public speaking, and those were the first two that had come to my mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh dang. So I guess we're I'll afraid of each other. My, I'll throw I'll throw out my debate team uh, arc. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know. You got some good ideas. What else? I was thinking fear of small spaces. Mm. Yeah, claustrophobia. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a good one. How would I no. fear of outdoor spaces? <laughs> fear of magic. Agoraphobia. Yeah, agoraphobia. That's what I fear. want. Or like fear, fear of the older students. Intimidation, kind of. <laughs> Kirk's like, yes, 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 and all yes. The, all these things. <laughs> Kirk's like, how many no. fears can I have? What's the maximum <laughs> number of fears that my character can have? You want to have too many fears. <laughs> So Dave, is there is there a uh, uh, is there a narrative uh, reason other oh, than yeah. irrational? For sure. For your fear of small face small spaces? No, small faces. I like that better. Small fear faces. of small faces. I love that. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god, so small. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Babies, right out. I can't, I just can't do it. No, no, it's the farther away you go, the smaller dudes? your face. Nope, can't Come close. It. Her faces are too small. <laughs> Oh, baby faces are terrifying, dude. Um, yeah, there's definitely a narrative reason. I mean, so and you don't I don't like to, to talk. I don't like to now. talk about it that much, you know, sure. um, because I'm trying to be kind of tough, you know, first couple days of school, trying to make some quick friends, get my tribe together, trying to be tough, you know, a leader. But definitely my older brothers fucking locked me in a trunk. Mm. for a long time and they would do it all the time um yeah and that, they that, forget about you i yeah they did that happened once mm -hmm. one of them cast a it was a forgetful spell on the other one it was a it was a home alone situation except for um, the house was a car <laughs> the heart the house was a trunk i was stuck in a trunk that got stolen oh. by two <laughs> uh thieves it was, thing. It, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Joe Pesci was involved, you know. But we'll we'll get into it. You know, booby traps. As Mr. Yeah. Smee. Yep. <laughs> Are you really going with agoraphobia, Ashley? Was that? I probably not. That's okay. would probably be pretty difficult with these broom racing classes. Let me just Google okay. fears. <laughs> Kirk, did you say germs for your character already? Oh. No. I'm smarter than that. Fear of injections. Fear of dogs. It'd be kind of funny if you like had a fear of spiders, but your uh, familiar was a spider. <laughs> keeps, it keeps following me. God damn it! <laughs> I 
don't understand. Um, <clears throat> all right, all right. Um, how about, um, how about fear of darkness? I'll take that yeah. one. Yeah, darkness. I'm afraid of, of the dark. Okay. Which is really problematic since it turns out you're a prodigy at shadow magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Just I go through it. No cast my magic. It's all darkness. Here here's one. Fear of school. <laughs> Man, you gotta pick one Kirk hasn't taken. Scolionophobia. <laughs> the fear of school. Oh, I like school. Um, I don't have fear of water, of fear of forests, fear, fear of witches and witchcraft, <laughs> clowns, fear of clowns, oh, wicophobia, fear of being alone. Fear of blood. Hello, Valkyrie bait. Nice to see ya. Hope your day was splendid. Oh, hey, bud. This is, it's, so, this is Amy's hat. Mine is still in the mail. Well, actually, I think it's still in production. But I, I did make this cool hat band for it. But thank you. No, it's a rad hat. I do like it. Um, All right. Um, How about... Um, strengths and flaws. Hmm. Um, of course, there are um, suggestions in your trope. Um, I am definitely taking treasure hunter. Yeah, treasure that's a good hunter. one. That's, a, so that's like, a strength, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I like finding useful items. Yeah, you can spend uh, uh, one of the bonus points to find a mundane but useful item in your surroundings yeah that's really good where is that uh that is appendix c page 91 oh there it is i was like paging through the book looking for it yeah that's dope All right, all right, I like it. Anyone else? Anyone else got a, a strength in mind or a flaw? I'm thinking. You have to do both. I'm thinking for my strength, I'm going to do wild speak. I can talk to any animal I'm familiar with. That's pretty cool. Okay. Cool. A species that I'm familiar with. And those under the different tropes, that's just a suggestion. We don't have to go with that, correct? We correct. go with whatever we want from the table. Yep. Yeah. Wealthy. I got wizard monies. I was considering that. And Michael, I even got. I even got a wand. As a magic wand. My magic. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think <laughs> I am. I'm going to go with wealthy and be like that sort of like rich kid sort of troublemaker. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. Andy, I want to come back to you. I want to touch in, touch base, see how you're doing, bro. Oh, man. Do you have any ideas yet? Also, how you doing, bro? Um, <laughs> bra. I kind of like the idea of charismatic slacker. I think I could do that. Okay. I'm going to go that route. I think that's, you know, definitely playing to 
plan to type for you you know should be i think and, pretty uh, easy for you to 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 pull off is your name by any chance spicoli, spicoli. <laughs> <laughs> i could definitely pull off the slacker part um okay you're very charismatic uh, andrew but he's gonna yeah I'm trying to look at the, I'm looking at the strengths now, the suggested sure. strengths. I don't really know what some of the, what are the adversity tokens and what do they give you? So uh, ad adversity tokens uh, gives you uh, a plus one to a roll. They're stackable. Um, in the game, you get them in a certain way. For us here, you'll get them uh, if you get bits if, if should the get chat them, deem you worthy get them bits <laughs> um and what what's a snap decision so uh snap decisions and um non-snap planned actions non-snap decisions yeah planned actions um it, it oh, changes like it uh let me see I didn't I didn't reread that section today because planned actions are cool. It's like you're you're planning ahead and instead of rolling the die that you have for whatever the characteristic is, you can opt to take half the die's value. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a huge benefit when you know what the like difficulty level is for some task, right? You can just say, "Well, instead of rolling a d20, I'm just going to take the 10 because I know that's going to either get me close to beating it or yeah, that would be cool under pressure. Mm -hmm. And then a snap and decision, snap, you can't do that. And in snap decisions, mm. only you can spend adversity tokens on yourself. Other people can't spend adversity tokens to help um, to help you. Because normally, like, Ashley has a bunch of these tokens. Kirk's making a roll. She can, like, dump all of her tokens into Kirk if he really needs to make it if she want, if, if they want. As long as it's not a snap decision. Yeah, I think I'm going to go cool under pressure. Nice. Or easy going. That's your strength, cool under pressure? Yeah. So, so slack, he's cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I got this. It's chill. I'm, I'm fucking high as a kite, but I got <laughs> yeah. this. It takes a couple more quick puffs and yeah, gets behind yeah. the the controls of the airplane, brings it in. For yeah, a like Darth said, like Darth says, like Ferris Bueller. Totally, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, how about some? How about some uh, fears, Kirk? Andy, you guys got ideas for fears? Fears. I'm gonna go kind of mundane. I'm gonna go snakes. Snakes. Yeah, I don't like snakes. Something you, about the eyes. You were, you were on a train and somebody threw a snake in your pants. Is it always snakes? Yeah. It's always got to be snakes. Yep. And I went uh, people taller, stronger, or more extroverted. Taller, stronger. Hey, man. We're like, are we the same height? Bird. We're like the same height, man. That's Dude. a coincidence. This is so wild. <laughs> like we were supposed to be friends, man. Yeah, like it was meant to be. That's cool. How about uh, how about some flaws? Ooh, how many can um, we have? <laughs> I, I just realized the flaws. That's I guess, my flaw. Yeah, the flaws aren't uh, really. Fear. Yeah, the flaws aren't really mechanical. They're really more narrative uh, uh, or mm -hmm. like RP touchstones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, does the does the book have any suggestions? Nope. Yeah, there's an appendix of flaws. Oh no, yeah, no, you're right. There is on page eighty nine. I was saying like, is it a section that's called out like? Because like in some of in some cases, the book would be like, oh yeah have like at least two of these 
you know or or but yeah it doesn't say but yeah um so chad can i can i adjust my fears because i when i wrote i wrote that scared of people who are taller stronger and more extroverted i went i went more like that's my flaw is i'm timid so i'm like i'm I'm not afraid of those people though i would say i'm just timid around those people i like it um but then for my fears i would say crowds public speaking (laughs) I know Ashley said them. They literally were all I could think of. Do you want both? Do you want two fears? Because there is a mechanical disadvantage. Um, Let's pick one. I mean, you could be. I'm gonna know. go with. I'm gonna go with public speaking before I go. Public with speaking. Yeah, because I can blend. Not into crowds. A crowd. Public speaking. Okay. Nice. No, I want to know what is the flaw cursed? No reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh <yeah>. boy. <laughs> what well, is that? Uh, we love flaws in this group and and that makes it fun role play. Yeah, I think we, you know, we could definitely come up with a curse that you are under whether it's like mm. one of those like cursed is it a cursed destiny or is it a more traditional curse like um i curse you uh, your breath acne. always smells like you have acne your, yeah you have really bad acne or your breath always smells like pickles farts i don't know i, I wish my breath smelled like pickles <laughs> mm, do you it'd make wearing Being a mask so much strength, nicer. actually i love i love pickles Yeah, yeah, I was I was hoping for more of a you know magical curses than well, magical acne than like nothing to sh- you know like regular <laughs> teenage curses like my skin's <laughs> right. bad and I have right. bad breath. Yeah, I mean if yeah if you want to take cursed and uh, like we can come up with an interesting maybe curse. I'll put I'll put you down for curse and then add a question mark. <clears throat> I'm open to the right curse. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What do you think of Dave? Reckless. Reckless. That makes sense. Reckless, reckless. There we go. Okay. Andy, do you have any idea as to a motivation? motivation yeah what's your character's like what's your pillar right like what's the sort of thing that you like what's the thing that kind of drives your the big decisions that you make as a preteen i would say he wants to uh as a a 12 to 13 year old wizard he wants friends he wants to be cool you know i don't know if popular is the right word but yeah maybe to be you know liked by you know people in general you want to be a youtube magic youtube star (laughs) (laughs) motivation youtube wants those subs (laughs) (laughs) oh so you guys ever watch dice camera action yeah Mm -mm. I haven't seen that one. I love that show, but as much as I loved the the like the wizard twitch that they had, I hated it. But it was hilarious at the same time. So there was a, one of the the bard character was always on like magical twitch. Yeah. So do we get to pick a familiar? Or Fuck yeah, you do. Is is that oh, yeah. gonna happen in game? Um, nope. You'll have one already. Yeah. I'm taking a snake. I know. I was like snakes all the way. <laughs> Snoops <laughs> all snakes. I you know I, I thought about so that as soon as I said snakes. I was like, oh man, <laughs> half the school is gonna have snake familiars. Um, mine isn't listed. Can I have a turtle? Sure. Aw. Sweet. <laughs> 
Um, turtle or a tortoise? Turtle. Okay. What page are the familiars? List? Oh, there it is. I found it. Page number? Uh, it's uh, 26. If you want to see common familiars, they talk about like you know, unless you want to have a very complicated mechanic, like don't pick like an aquatic animal. Like a turtle? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> turtles can exist on land, but a goldfish might have a problem not being around water. Turtles live right. in water. Uh, I'm going to go with a tarantula. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm not writing these down. I'll ask you about them later. I've written down a lot of these notes. Familiars are interesting, but I'm I'm less worried about what familiar, what wand you have at this at this juncture. You'll of course want to know. Um, Uh, nice, nice, nice. Snake, turtle, tarantula. Let's, get, let's do some dice rolling. Yeah, I'm going to go with some kind of bird. I don't know which. Okay. Maybe a raven. Or a crow. Not like a huge raven. So we're going to do some relationship stuff. Everyone ha is going to have somebody that they know, an NPC that they know who they have a positive relationship with, and somebody that they know that they have a negative relationship with. Um, and there's some dope tables in the back that we'll roll on to see kind of what that relationship is. And, uh, yeah, who wants to start? I'll start. Okay, thank you. I was just going to just love to. Dave, do, uh, do you want to start with positive or negative? Positive. Okay, give me a D20 roll. Number one. Number one. This character once protected you from something dangerous. What was it? Character that protected me from something dangerous. Is that one of the people in this group or is this an NPC? An NPC, yeah. Okay. This will be these are these are NPC relationships. Um so so there was a police officer named Officer Farley who uh, actually apprehended the, the thieves that stole the trunk that I was in from my house when my parents and my brothers were on vacation. So Officer Farley busted the thieves and he, uh, he sprung me loose. And because of that, I kind of have this, I kind of have a little bit of a desire to someday become a police officer. Okay. Officer Farley. Is this a magical police officer or a regular old police officer? Regular old police officer. And uh, think like in terms of what he looks like and stuff, like Chris Farley. Like kind of an, a bigger kind of guy. Sort of a, okay. a flat foot, you know, cop, beat cop, but um, super nice and funny. Okay, interesting, interesting. Anyone else want to do a positive, Ashley? Sure. What am I rolling? 
A D20. D20. 18. 18. When did you realize that you loved this character, either romantically or platonically? So you could have a crush or not a, not a crush, whatever a platonic love would be. Um, how about the, uh, the professor that, that was a hedgehog? I just secretly mm. think that is so cool and I really like it. So is this a platonic crush or a crush crush? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, how old are we? Like, I don't know. I'm feeling like junior high. This is like 12. secondary school, right? Like junior high and senior high kind of thing. I don't know. Make it okay. Um, I don't know. I, I think he's 12? the coolest. I don't know. Okay. okay. You have a okay, cool, okay, okay. Kirk, Kirk, roll right. a d twenty. Give me a give me a die roll. Oh man, you said I didn't have to roll dice today. I know, I lied. I got the same one as Ashley. Can I re-roll? Yes, sir. And if you don't like what you roll, we can always re-roll. It's not nineteen a, a set in stone sort of thing. You and this character have somewhere secret in the school that you go somewhere secret in the school you go to you think only the two of you know about nice that's cool where is it and who is this character um i'm gonna say it's the the um and it can't be a student. Teacher. So far, so far, everybody wants to pair up with, with teachers. And I'm gonna be honest, that's weird. But it can be students. Still it probably go should the, be students. I'm gonna go with the herbology teacher. Oh wow! So you, a go young student, secret? go somewhere, some secret place in the. St- oh, I'm gonna say boy. no. You know what? No, <laughs> no. I'm gonna kibosh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, no. You can go with me. I'm weird. <clears throat> It has to be an NPC. Oh, NPC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say the shy, timid upperclassman that okay. spends all of their time in the library. There's a hidden spot in the library mm-hmm. where if you climb the shelves, there's a little re- like recessed area next to a window with like cushions. It's like a room they try to block off with shelves or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's like just like my, where I go to get away from everyone else and read my book. And they also happen to go there and read their book. What's this what's this Shiver classman's name? Um Use Don John. Use Don John. Damien Sharp. Damien Sharp. With an E at the end. Yeah, like it. Nice. Uh, Ashley, what's the uh, what's the hedgehog teacher's name? Um. That was amazing. Oh man, I'm running out of creative juice. Uh. Did I already use Horatio? Nope. Okay. Horatio. Uh, Horatio. 
Horatio Hedgerow? Sure. Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, Darth. And also, what class do they teach? Um, and it's probably one that you are in. Animal handling? I don't know. <laughs> Familiars 101. Something to do with animals, maybe? I don't okay, know. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll think of something. Animal-based class. Familiars? Question. Okay. Otherwise, an herbology would also possibly make sense. I think that's the caterpillar. Underbrush. Guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Andy. All right. You got a die? No, I don't. Who's got a die that wants to roll for me? Sure. Who wants to, who wants to proxy? All right, Dave, go Dave's for it. Dave's got it. All Dave's right, here it. we go. Three. 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 What amazing secret have you learned about this person that they haven't told anyone else? Also, also, who is this person? Uh, I don't know. I don't like that one. Can I get a different okay, roll, roll again? Someone else roll. Let's get another roll. Okay, I'll roll for you. Four. Four. Not far off. Okay. You and this character once, cl once cut class together. Why? So maybe this is somebody All that right. you know from like primary school, from before secondary, magical secondary school, from before here, if we're playing first years, right? Um, You're best friends with, with Ferris, magical Ferris Bueller. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron. Isn't that his buddy's name, Cameron? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, his name is Cameron. Okay. And we, uh, Diaz. We went for a, a joyride on our brooms. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm having trouble thinking stuff on the spot. No worries. I could, no worries. I could come up with something later, but you know what I okay. just thought of, Andy? I don't, I don't know if you remember this, but back in high school, how there was that tree fort back in the woods that we used to cut class and go hang out in the tree fort. Do you remember that? Tree like, fort? Mm-hmm. That would work. Okay. Tree fort. Tree you don't fort. remember, huh? No. no, I'm drawing a blank. No, All right, is that is that code for something? No, it's actually there was a tree fort <laughs> that we used to tree cut, fort. We used to cut class and go hang out in a tree fort back in the woods behind East. Hey Chad, um, I would like to change Officer Farley to being a magical, um, a magical police officer. Okay, if, if that's okay with you. Magical. And he lives in a van down by the river. By the river, yep. And he does this a lot. <laughs> Are you guys doing crime? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Some. Some negative. <laughs> negative relationship. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Ashley. Yeah? A, D, a um, D20 roll, por favor. Three. Three. Uh, what magical object does this character have that you want to take from them? Ooh. The fucking oh. magical pogs. Um... Somebody has a magical broom that like improves your ability to fly. I know. And you want it. I want it. Nice, nice. 
Dave. Yes, sir. Roll them bones. Eleven. Eleven. What do both of you hate about the school? So this is a person you have a negative relationship with, but you both share a very specific hate about the school. That's interesting. That seems, that's a very that's interesting. Weird. Hey, I yeah. hate you. We, we can always re-roll. You, yeah, that person <laughs> hates themselves, and yep. you hate them. Yes. Yeah. Aw. That's mean. Um, let's re-roll. Okay, go for it. Six. Six. Uh, what rumor, either true or untrue, did this character start about you? Ooh, that's a good one. Oof. That's juicy. Mm, okay. So, um, the rumor is that the rumor is that uh, because of my sort of wealthy background, that my parents bought my way into the school rather than me having you know like solid magical abilities i'm like that i'm just sort of mediocre but i bought my way in or my parents mm, bought my okay. way in. kind of the uh what's that scandal that's going on with the uh full house lady that thing right yep mm -hmm. uh and what's her name uh, the, i forget that full house lady because uh, that's the student's uh, name yale gate is that what it's called? Yogi? Yeah. Nope. Um, admission scan. Yeah, it was the admissions. Lori school. something. Yeah. Lori Laughlin? Yep. Lori Laughlin. Yep. That's it. Lori Laughlin <laughs> nice. started this rumor about me, and I'm pissed off. But I, at the same time, I, I'm kind of into her. It's a weird, it's a weird relationship. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Kirk. Seventeen. Seventeen. What aspect of your academic life is this character making more difficult? Perfect. That's a good one for you. Yeah. It's a good one for you. Well. Uh, or in some on. cases, come will. On, kitty. Some of these things probably will like come about as we play and may not necessarily be in status. I would say, goodness, my cat's rolling dice. Um, Smart. Bruce upperclassman he's in three of my classes he doesn't like the fact that and i don't know if i'm allowed to do this but can i have a staff instead of a wand as a hand-me-down yep 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 so so i got a, a staff from my grandpa and bruce thinks it's super archaic and really dumb looking and he's always picking on me and meeting me between classes and knocking my books out of my hands but how is he making your academic life hell? Well, it's it's really hard to go to class when you're afraid of the guy you sit next to in three of your four classes. <laughs> we have the same. We have, it's it's all. We just he always ends up sitting by me. So he just bothers you a lot. He's he's just he makes me afraid to go to class. Bullies you. God yep. damn it. Okay. Okay. All right. Somebody needs to roll for that feels Andy. for your character. Who wants to roll for me? Kirk should. Want, he hasn't rolled for real you dice. Yet. Real dice. <clears throat> A cat just rolled for you. You got a seven. 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 What ambition does this character have that scares you? That's Any. cool. Uh, I don't know. I can't think You're of probably anything. terrified by ambition in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy wants to make hot dogs for a living. That scares me. 
ambition. Like, does, he, does this person want to be like, I'm going to be the new dark sorcerer supreme. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like Batman. Well, I mean, it's, that would be like, that would technically be illegal in our world, right? Like dark magic. I mean, it could be, yeah. But that doesn't mean that people still don't want to do it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the Malfoys. Yeah, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Okay, okay. I'll take it, but... Okay. So, has ambition, has... That you fear. Okay. I like it. All right. Um, here's here's what we're gonna do. We got a lot. Mm. I, I'm I am feeling that there is a tanks are getting empty, and that's fine. If that's not correct, you can say the word, and we can we can figure some more stuff out. But otherwise, I feel good about that. Like we we've got some good starts here. We could cut out a little early. Um, do things what are next steps start, gonna... Chad, for us like as for us to be prepared for the as players sure. let's talk about that so that we're all on the same page of what we should yep, come please. ready to do in two weeks absolutely yep. um so i guess you know pretty much anything on your character sheets right um so you know pick your wand stuff like you can read read this you know read the section on wands pick what kind of because you get mechanical benefits from wands but there's not there's not really like uh this type of wand gives this benefit it's just like i want this type of wand and i want these benefits from my wand right if i'm if i'm recalling yeah because you select select your wood select your core Oh no! They, I guess never mind. They do have examples. Yeah, they do give benefits towards your, yeah, different abilities. So would you want to uh, pick a pick a wand that buffs one of your lower abilities? Yeah, I mean that's realistically that's up to you, right? Like, uh, you know, there's there's not it's not it's not necessarily bad to be like just really, really, really good at one thing mm -hmm. um, because it is interesting <laughs> when, when you're doing stuff that you're not good at. Right. Cause this, this system is a much more um, kind of, it's not quite as cut and dried as, you know, pass fail as like D and D right. There's, it's mm -hmm. a little more. Okay. There's it's like little, degrees little, of, yeah. There's degrees of success and or failure. I love um, that so it's about not this. Necessarily bad and dice explode, right? <laughs> so if you're mm. like if you roll a if you roll a d6 for your for your thing and you roll a six, roll another fucking six, roll another d6 and add that, and you can keep going. Oh wow. Okay. Um. So. Um. Yeah. You know. So you know. Pick your wand. Pick your pick your broom. Um, that's interesting mechanically I, from a character development perspective because you're going to be most likely to explode dice on your least um, your least strong trait like a d4 you're, you have a higher probability of exploding than a d20 so that's kind of oh, interesting right. I like that yeah, that's, yeah. that's a neat little probability thing are we picking um, our familiars too Yep. Yeah, you can pick your familiar. Um, I'm I'm not sure if I want a snake or not. I think that would be funny, but I kind of want like a raccoon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Raccoons, badgers. <laughs> I like that. Totally cool. Um, <clears throat> they're mischievous. And then if right, you like a want... feral kind of creature. I will, um, and then as far as like classes go, mm -hmm. um, I'll create, I'll create like another Google form or whatever, 
or, or, or something or, you know, or a Google doc that we can all kind of write in. Um, so we can as a, essentially as a place to kind of, these are the kinds of classes that we would be in, you know, and you don't okay. all obviously, and you're not all necessarily in the same classes, but this is a place to throw ideas. So you're not like, Oh, I'm going to be in these classes. And then I'm like, eh, no, it's really, it's really this class, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Okay. Right? So um, are like the three, um, freshmen going to be in the same classes and then Kirk's character is going to be in like different classes. Cause he's above he's us. He's in like upperclassmen, freshmen. Yeah. Class cause he's AP. Right. He'll probably be in like. Uh, one or two like lower class yeah like, like gym class classes. he's still in phi ed yeah with us so you're like what is it broomology um, <laughs> yeah broomology and i'll come up with cool names and and we this is the other thing too is we'll, we'll be able to come up with cool names for stuff in that doc um i had one mechanical question that i'm really okay. uncertain of um so I know we, when we assign our, or when we pick our characters, we get, you know, the, the eight die that like brains, flight, fight, grit, charm, brawn, D20, 12, yep. 10, et cetera. Is that just for magic or is that magic and stat checks? Magic so like, is a D4, I believe that you add on top of it. Okay. So magic's always just a D4. Mm -hmm. Plus. Perfect. Dish, in addition in to In addition the, to, yeah. Yeah our stats okay yeah because if you look at um so if you look at uh what i was just looking at it um derp, derp, where is that page um Yeah, so page 52 kind of runs down like, quote, spell checks, right? And it says you roll your, you pick your, you, the GM determines what type of magic. So what, what, like what stat it would use. And then, so you're then you roll that stat die plus a D4 as the magic die, which is discussed on page 53. Why would you have it on a later page? I don't know, but. How does that make you feel, Chad, that they put that on a different page? That one, <laughs> Admit, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. <laughs> no, it's all right. Just asking. Yep. yep. No reason. Um, yeah. I'm super excited about this, guys. I think we've created some really fun characters. Yeah, um, I'll work up. I'll work up some of this stuff in a little more kind of in a more coherent format and give some names and things shout out to the um, chat for helping us out with yeah. some detail work you guys crushed it tonight we appreciate you we're gonna be here what uh not next week on thursday but the following week is when we kick it off correct with episode one so we'll keep you informed um yeah if you haven't already give us a follow and hit that little what is it a bell thing and that'll give you a notification when we go live with the various games that we have going on uh wednesday night yeah. salt marsh friday night we've got the uh fundraiser and our new nice kids on brooms yeah so and ashley you know if you want to wear your hat and have your wand out oh you cool. want that yeah, yeah it's not can. gonna fit over this giant yeah, headset a, thing but i could uh, the fundraiser kicks off at um, 8 p.m. Central Time, Vamp. And we'll play for about an hour and a half. Um, yeah. It'll be fun. The game is This oh, game yeah. is really cool. Uh, Nights and Bikes is super fun. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, let's... Uh, is there anybody we want to raid? Should we raid somebody? Yeah, let's do it. Let me take a quick look here. I love it when you realize when you you're like 
you don't really pay attention to Twitch all the time. And then you're like, oh, we're, I'm going to raid somebody. And you're like, oh, I follow a lot of fucking channels. We could raid. Uh, <laughs> what's Phoenix up to? Let's raid Phoenix. Let's do that. What is Phoenix? Phoenix, what are you doing, dude? Is he... Let's make sure that they're playing. Oh, wild beyond the witch light. Sweet. All right. Let's do it. All right, All right folks. Again, we're going to do it. Everyone, thanks for joining us. Um, Hit them with some great emotes. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye.